is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the New Balance SC Elite version three after 100 miles. Full disclosure, and just like always, this is a pair of shoes I purchased with my own money, so all opinions will be my own, and no one will have a chance to view this before I put it online. All right, so let's talk about the SC Elite version three. Starting at the bottom, and we'll work our way up. Now, if you look at the bottom here, there is just really a minimal amount of rubber. Um, but as you can tell, after 100 miles, there has been like really no wear to it at all. Um, now, just for perspective's sake, I'm 195 pounds, I'm about six foot three. Um, so I am in the heavier kind of area for runners, you might say, but I also hit paces in the shoe under six minutes per mile. So around like the 545-ish. So that's a lot of kind of power that has to be generated through the shoe. And to see the minimal amount of wear on this after 100 miles, is it's really quite impressive. Um, and in terms of the grip of the outsole, like when it's been wet or anything like that, I've had no problems at all. But when you are on ice, I mean, it's kind of like see you later. Um, it's definitely below average, I would say, in terms of traction when you are on like icier surfaces. And with that exposed outsole foam, you'll see that there's, there's creasing, but really there's no major wear or major damage at all. So again, all very, very positive things about the SC Elite. Moving on to the actual foam itself. Now this is New Balance's fuel cell, which is their premium foam. Um, it's definitely the softest foam on the market in my opinion. Um, and it is just a squishy, squishy bouncy ride. Um, now I put over 150 miles in the second version. Um, and this one feels relatively the same, um, except for the forefoot is stiffened up a little bit. But so in version two, there's an eight millimeter drop, um, which means that your heel is eight millimeters higher than your forefoot in terms of foam underneath. Um, and in this one is four, but it has this extreme rocker that like is probably the most rocker chewed I've ever seen. So even though it is four millimeters, it definitely feels more than that. Um, however, like after 100 miles, the shoe really hasn't lost a step in terms of responsiveness instead of bounce, you know, it's still just as soft and it feels pretty close to the exact same as when I had it on day one. Um, and like a lot of people say, oh, this shoe might be a little bit too soft to go fast in it or it's just not, it's not as quick as any other shoe out there. And I would honestly like say that it's, this is probably just as fast as any other shoe out there really. Um, it's just how do you like your understep feel? Now, if you really like ground contact feel, um, this probably isn't the shoe for you. Or if you like that stiff toe off where you feel like, you know, you are being propelled forward. Um, again, this is just more of that squish. It's more of that like pillow feel. Now, in terms of does it actually propel you less? No, I've actually had some of my fastest runs in this shoe. So just because it doesn't feel maybe as quick or as firm as other things, it definitely still is. And even after 100 miles, I can safely say that this is still one of the fastest shoes I own. Now with the upper here, this is just an unbelievable knit. Um, probably one of my favorite uppers I've ever worn. Um, I really, really enjoy knit uppers, but like I was actually gonna make a full review video after about 20, 30 miles saying, hey, listen, like this is a great shoe, but I couldn't get along with it because if you look here, all the blood that's kind of like stained here right around the anchor collar. Now, I wore this shoe for my first three or four runs and it just kept cutting me and I kept getting blisters right where the string ties into the shoes. And again, I was gonna make that review saying, great shoe but i just can't run it anymore it's just causing more damage than good but on the very last run before i was about to do that um it stopped and you know i was just like okay let's just let's keep going and it hasn't been a problem since and i'm so grateful because this is something that i just keep reaching for in my bag now the upper it fits true to size i've had no slipping um, no hot spots, no nothing. Um, there's not an excess amount of pressure on the laces uh, because it is just a one piece upper. So there is no tongue or anything like that. And sometimes when you have a knit that's like this, you feel like you have to over cinch it down. Um, fortunately in this case, it's just, it's an absolute perfect fit. In terms of wear of the upper over hundred miles, um, right where the, logo is on my big toe probably where a lot of the flexion happens on my toe off 
um, it has broken apart and there is a pretty big rip um, that just started uh, but other than that and the blood stain um, there isn't much wear at all so uh, I definitely foresee this lasting quite a bit longer also I should mention that the heel counter of this year it is like it is pretty flexible but it's also a little bit more stiff than a lot of the other options out there um, it's not like if you've ever ran an A6 Metaspeed Sky Plus, um, it's definitely not as stiff as that, but it's definitely more stiff than I would say the Nike Vaporfly. So overall, I would say this, the New Balance SC Elite V3 is definitely the most versatile carbon plated racing shoe in the market today, in my opinion. And it's like, it's one of the best. I mean, this is something that I reach for on a daily basis. Now, I've had this thing for well under a month and I've already put 100 miles on it. And that's just because it is so versatile. Like when I'm doing double days or when I'm doing um, sessions where, you know, it's a 10, 15 minute warm up where I'm just jogging easy and then I'm going into a speed session. Um, I'm not someone that brings a warm up pair of shoes and then has my racers for the hard effort. Like, I enjoy a shoe where I can just do it all and it's super comfortable and I have nothing to worry about. This is one you just put on, you just sink into the foam, the easy paces feel really good, and then when it's time to pick it up, you absolutely just fly in this shoe and it's a great feeling. Um, and you know, like with other carbon plated racers coming out, like one that is coming my way in a week or so here, uh, the Saucony Endorphin Elite, a lot of people are saying, you know, just that's a race day only, it's super aggressive, you can't do anything else with it. And that's just from what I've heard, like, I mean, I have had no experience in that shoe, but this would have to be the exact opposite, you know? So I would recommend this for anybody, like, doesn't matter what speed you are for the marathon distance, half marathon, I would take this thing on a 5K too. I mean, it's it's one of those racing shoes that isn't too wide, it's not too bulky, it feels fast, it feels like like a great race fit. But honestly, like over those long distances too, where, you, where the most important thing really is saving your legs and getting to that 20 mile mark or 20 plus, feeling as fresh as possible so you can push into the end, um, this is something that'll absolutely do it. I mean, the the impact reduction that you get from this foam just on feeling alone is incredible and um yeah i can't say enough great things about it it is around the 300 hundred dollar price range so that's about standard for super shoes nowadays but honestly it's a great purchase i think new balance absolutely knocked out of the park um and i think fuel cell is probably one of the more underrated foams out there in terms of actual race day performance. Anyways, if you're interested in picking a pair of the SC Elite version 3, I highly recommend it. It's an incredible shoe um, and it's super versatile and you know what, it's going to last you a long time. So I hope this little 100 mile review helps um, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it means a lot. I love seeing the channel grow. It's been amazing and you know, I just really appreciate all the support. So having said that, take care.